Now with that ABC News exclusive overnight, Jeopardy! James Holzhauer kept his winning streak alive, moving well past the $2 million mark. And now, here's the big question. Will he beat legendary Ken Jennings' record? Jennings is going to join us live in just a moment for his take. But first, we have ABC's Paula Ferris here with all the latest. Hey, Paula. Hey there, Amy. I know you're a huge yes. fan of Jeopardy! and you're paying close attention, as everyone has been. But it hasn't always been close for Jeopardy! James. One game he won by just $18. His secret? Reading children's books and practicing the buzzer at home, his strategy is as unique as him. If you're going to beat him and replace him as Jeopardy! champion, you had better bring your A game. He's the Jeopardy! whiz who's on a roll, raking in more than $2.1 million, and now he's within $300,000 of Ken Jennings' record 74 day streak. Two million. $195,557. James Holzhauer, or Jeopardy Hola. James as they call him, uh, okay. is rewriting the rules on this iconic game show. Two dimes, please. All right. That's 2000 And it's all thanks to his unique approach, which includes reading lots of children's books. Kids' books, I mean, is that accurate? 100% accurate, you know, and I, I think this is an underrated strategy. From picking answers from the bottom up. Fly kite 1,000. Ensuring a bank roll for his big wagers on those daily doubles. All of the chips. To his mastery of the buzzer. James. What is Swanee River? Yes. James. What is Purim? Yes. James. What is Bridal? Bridal, good. I think I'm just kind of lucky in a way that the buzzer technique I practiced turned out to be such a successful one. Opponents like Nate Sheffy forced to step up their game against this power player. I'll make it a true daily double. I knew that I would have to go for the big clues right off the bat. Despite Nate taking the lead recently, it was James sweetening the pot that reigned supreme. Nate made the work for it. I think, you know, if I'd made it a true daily double the second time, I would have won. And now all eyes are on Jeopardy! James's 28-day win streak. Estimates putting him on track to take down Jeopardy! champ Ken Jennings' 2004 record by June 3rd. It's really an honor to be compared to Ken at all, but I think it's interesting because we have such different approaches to the game. All the cheddar, please. Now, he told ESPN in an interview that he is a connoisseur of low culture, and he would love categories such as WWE catchphrases and name that guitar solo. Amy, I don't <laughs> think those categories are going to show up, but as for that June 3rd date that we mentioned when he could topple Ken Jennings' record, that's next Monday. It's oh, going to happen believe soon. Believe me, it is appointment television for my family, <laughs> Paula. Thank you very much. In fact, let's bring in Ken Jennings from Seattle. This is his first live interview talking about Jeopardy, James. So thanks for being with us, Ken. We appreciate it. It's a pleasure. All right, so as you know, he is nipping. James is nipping on the heels of your record. So tell me, how are you feeling about that? I'm really excited. You know, for 15 years, I have thought somebody was going to make a run at this record. Because I always knew it could be done. I was there. I saw it happen. Uh, I know it's been possible. What I did not expect is that somebody could make a run at the cash record in like a third the time. It's really just astounding what he's doing. Yeah, he uh, really puts it all on the table. He pushes all his chips in, as he said. You tweeted about James hitting the $2 million mark, saying it's like a global warming graph Jeopardy performance. He said your approaches are very different. How are they different? How is yours different from James? Uh, you know, I tended to play a more relaxed game, like just I was sitting on my couch at home yelling answers <laughs> at Alex the way we all do. and. Uh, <laughs> It was good. You know, it was kind of a relaxed, conservative way to play the game, and it led to the long streak. And this is a guy who wants to maximize winnings every time he's got the chance. That's what he does for a living. He's a gambler, and he's very comfortable with that. And, uh, you know, he's playing his game perfectly. Yeah, I know. He's comfortable. I'm so nervous watching him do it. Like, you're betting it all? <laughs> now, I know you say you're excited about the possibility, but is there just a little part of you that's hoping James might fall short of either one of your records? <laughs> You know what bothers me is when I hear people say Jeopardy James. I'm like, no, 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 I'm that guy. You can't put Jeopardy in front of his name. I used to be the Jeopardy guy. Now, I know that you have come back for the Tournament of Champions, so how would you feel about, at one point, you facing off with James? You know, the thing is, it's been 15 years for me. Uh, you know, we'll never know how Babe Ruth and Hank Aaron would have played at the same time because <laughs> they were decades apart, you know? like. Can I have my 2004 brain back if I play this guy? Uh, I, think I, could, I think I could hold my own against him even today, but I would need some breaks. Uh, it would be all about who found the Daily Doubles. And usually on Jeopardy, 
I don't need a lot of breaks. Oh, wow. I love that. Okay, and speaking of game shows, I understand that you're going to be on a new one next month. Tell us about it. Yeah, uh, starting June 10th, I'm on Game Show Network's Best Ever Trivia Show. And that's not a shot across Jeopardy's bow. Jeopardy's still my favorite quiz show. But this is a fun, lightweight trivia show, the kind of thing we used to you know, watch when we were home from school as kids. Uh, it's hosted by Sherry Shepard. You know, me and the other trivia experts are all cheering along the contestants. We want to see them win some money. It's a great, it's my favorite kind of game show from my childhood, and uh, I'm excited to be a trivia expert. Oh, I'm so excited, too. That'll be another one we have to watch around the dinner table. All right, Ken Jennings, thank you so much. We'll be checking in with you I when we find out what happens. Babe thank you Ruth so much. versus Hank Aaron. Yeah, Babe Ruth versus <laughs> Hank Aaron. I definitely watch that. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.